Good morning, I guess I could say. It is 5.21 o'clock. I just got done playing Team Fortress 2 with acquaintances on Discord for four hours. And now I'm gonna play even more Team Fortress 2 and talk about my life. Maybe 5.21 o'clock counts as morning. Perhaps. I guess it would. I used to wake up at 5 a.m. for a while. When I was 14 years old. Good times. Well, why do I say good times every time I think about the past? <clears throat> Not every time, but... Well, every time to some extent extent, uh, well, I don't know, I guess I don't really say good times, uh, regarding the past year, like, you know, like a year ago, the winter, the past winter, and the autumn a year ago, and the spring a year ago, or like, you know, like that period between August of 2019 and March of 2020, especially I considered, I consider horrible. Uh, so it's not exactly good times, which I do say about a lot of moments. Uh, however, it is, um, does evoke quite a feeling. There's this one song I was introduced to back then, and... I refuse to listen to these days because I figure it'd be bad if I did. But I guess it's, I guess it, I don't know. I guess emotions are kind of tricky and I can't, I mean, I guess in this case, associating having like really bad associations with the person who introduced me to the song could m just make me not be able to enjoy the song anymore and there's like no way to solve that really because it's emotional and like it's not a matter of re like disregarding your emotions because emotions is all that matters when you listen to music you know it's not like anxiety where like, there's no, like, you're not supposed to indulge in that exactly. <coughs> why did I get, why did I start bleeding? Waking up at 5 a.m. was weird. It's weird to look back upon to. See that just now where like like 10 votes were cast at the same, like immediately? I, that's, that is so weird and I s maybe it wasn't quite as immediate this time, but earlier this night I saw uh, that happen, like 10 votes immediately and it was like, seems someone is cheating. So anyway, 
So today I I woke, I slept, so I went to sleep at like, I don't know, 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock, something like that. And I slept, okay, so it was like 5 o'clock, yeah, and I ended up sleeping for 11 hours, yeah, till like 16 o'clock. I dreamt a lot, I think, and like, I don't really remember. Something I learned today uh, whilst, what, whilst playing Team Fortress 2 was that uh, the Darwin... The Darwin's Danger Shield actually doesn't protect against backstabs, I'd misunderstood. So, on top of me using it, thinking that it was protecting me against backstabs, and then I realized it when someone actually backstabbed me. Uh, maybe I have been shooting spies instead of backstabbing them uh, in vain, uh, or rather, like, unnecessarily. Uh, like, I've been shooting ones with the Darwin's Danger Shield, even though I could just backstab them. So that's probably been happening. Okay, so then I... So then, like, I heard talk downstairs about going jogging. Uh, and so, like, I was like, Oh shit, I have, to, I have to go along. I have to come along. Uh, that would be good. If I did. Uh, and I did. So, it was in this, you know, it's in the forest, you know, and like, there's, there's lights, and it was really dark, uh, out, out, like, ex like, outside of the lights. So I was running through the darkness, well, the light in the darkness, it was so, like, dark around me. It was, uh, very beautiful. And... I thought there was a fire somewhere out there in the darkness. I could smell and faintly see. And, uh, that was nice. It's a, it's a nice smell. I wondered if I could see someone by the fire. I thought there must be someone there in the darkness. And this darkness, this dark forest and this fire, I don't know, everything, uh, it made me think of um, my favorite video game, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Bridge to the Turnabouts. Case 5, Bridge to the Turnabouts. And that Hazakura Forest, or well, not exactly forest, well, I mean it is kind of, you know, it's like it's that really cool snowy place in the mountains. It's a beautiful video game, I tell you. It's great. It's a masterpiece. All that shit with the Dahlia Hawthorne and everything. It's great. I just thought of that 
out there. Oh, and I saw someone on, like, Twitter the other day. Either Twitter or Tumblr. Whose name was Dahlia. And I was like, what? People are actually named Dolly in real life. Or maybe that's just an internet name. Like Fendus. I, I was gonna mention this, I think, was planning to mention this, but I already mentioned it to the people I was, you know, taught, playing Team Fortress 2 with. That, like, the map Well, I associate with the Dead Ringer. Uh, so I thought, oh, maybe that's because, like, some YouTube video demonstrated the Dead Ringer in that map. But I think actually what it was, though, was that the reason I associate it um, well with the Dead Ringer is that I actually first tried the Dead Ringer on that map. Now I don't have the Dead Ringer anymore. I didn't like the playstyle with the Dead Ringer. Or the the other one, the Invis Watch or whatever. Or no, not the Invis Watch. That's this one. Uh, but the golden one. Like the golden watch, which isn't the Dead Ringer. A Dead Ringer, that's not a watch exactly, that's more like a... I don't know what you would call it, it's circular. I guess you'd call that an ur in Swedish, but, well, I think any clock can be called an ur. Isn't that like German? Or oh. Oh, it's from our. Derived from the hour, you know, hour. Yeah, it's straight up borrowed from German. Oh. Saw, saw that with another word I was looking at the other day. I think it was Verwalta, which I don't even know what it means, but I think that was just like borrowed from German, Verwalten. Huh, I'm on blue team. <laughs> Okay. But I was like on the other side of the map. So I was running through there. It felt good, it was cold. But not too cold. It was just nice. And then I... Actually went to the grocery store with him, and uh, yeah, I haven't been in the grocery store in a long time. The layout has changed so much since. Well, not so much. Maybe I shouldn't be hyperbolic, but you know, like everything has moved pretty much, and like yeah, uh, since I actually did some work there, you could say. Like, what is it called? I don't know what you would call I mean, like, I could just give you the entire description of it on Wikiped, which is the, um, the program providing one to three weeks of experience working in a real job during middle school in Finland and Sweden. 
I did that in the grocery store. Haven't I talked about that? About uh, how much I hated it, kind of. Well, I didn't hate it that much then. I guess I just like hate it in retrospect. I mean, it just kind of sucked, you know, I was, I mean, compared to like the stories I've heard from other people, like what they were doing. I don't know, I've like read stuff on the internet. You know, I had to be there from 8 to 15. Or... Yeah. 8 to 15. 8 to 3. 9 to 4. Not quite 9 to 5. <laughs> And, you know, I was like, it sucked. I mean, like, I have totally talked about this in a recent video, haven't I? About how it sucked, you know, doing the work wrong. And then having, like, people, customers go up to me and they ask me about, like, stuff that I know nothing about. And then, like, they think I'm an actual employee or something, I don't know. Because they gave me the same fucking clothes. I mean, obviously, I guess. What else are you gonna do? Let me dress as a civilian. <laughs> civilian. <laughs> I mean, it does suck in the sense that those clothes were pretty uncomfortable. And, like, I don't wear uncomfortable clothes anymore. Or at least I try not to. Um, so having to wear that sure does suck. Like, I didn't care enough back then, I guess. I was, like, still wearing jeans at that point, yeah. But, of course, now it's, like, I've totally freed myself and... Well, I guess it's just, like, one of, one of several reasons I'm just gonna get fired from every fucking job I could get. The problem is, like... I guess I would be too scared to be rebellious. Obviously. I don't know. I can't do anything. I'm so ignorant too, I tell you. Like, um, you know, so like one of the dudes I was talking to, you know, here in the, in the voice, in the voice chat on the Discord. You know, he was, you know, talking about the coronavirus in Sweden, about how, like, there was all these reasons that you couldn't say that our strategy was bad just because we had, like, a little bit more cases. Uh... And it's, like, stuff that I haven't, like, thought about at all. I'm just, like, willfully ignorant. I'm so, so ignorant. He even knew more Swedish history than me. Him, an American. And all I know is <laughs> gender studies, ha. <laughs> uh, not really. That was just a kind of a failed joke. So I didn't even learn that. I didn't learn sh I... Anyway, 
<clears throat> yeah, so it was just nice uh, running outside there in the forest. That was nice, I suppose. And, uh... that's about it it's I, I still feel generally unhappy and like I need to fix something in my life like I need to fix all this and like as in I need to be happy somehow and uh, I don't I'm not completely sure how I'm supposed to do that You see, I was reading through my old diary entries last night. So, you know, like the diary entries I was writing when I was 13 years old and 14 years old. Mostly when I was 13 years old, I guess. And like, you could, I mean, I'm literally writing even back then about how, 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 like, I, how I don't want to die. And I was just like, guys, please find a way to revive me. And it's like, that's such a surface level, like, thought you've given it. Like, I hadn't even, like, really, that, that's very, that's not, like, that's very little introspection. I hadn't introspected enough. And if I had, I would have realized that being revived doesn't solve anything. So, I mean, like, I don't really know how to describe my problem. Uh, I just uh, find living very miserable. Not to the point where I want to die, but just that I really don't like this. What are these medals? Like almost everyone on the other team has. Man, I'm low in this game. Look at that. What the hell? No soup. For some reason that makes me think of no cash from Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth or Cashino. And if you read his name like opposite because of his because he's Asian, then you get no cashi. No cash. And that doesn't even make any sense, like what do you mean no cash? Well, he wasn't stealing cash exactly, he was stealing um, a statue. Like, he wasn't robbing a bank to get some cash. I mean, he was, he was robbing the embassy to get, or well, he was, you know, breaking into the embassy to 
sneaking in there to steal the statue, the Primidox statue, on the orders of Manny Cochin. I never knew no Cochin. Look, the FBI guys, they promised me a deal. So I made up some things about Manny Cochin, because that's what they wanted. And they kept saying, uh, Manny Cochin did this, and Manny Cochin did that. And I said, sure, yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? I sure I'm messing up the this reference. Very contrived. Although I did just notice that Michael Corleone has the same initials as Manny Cochin. So in that sense, it was very, very fitting. I don't know. I shouldn't have voted no, I guess. I don't know. Manny Cochin right there in my profile picture. I wasn't able to disguise while I was waiting. And I sure was stupid back then, when I was 12 years old, or no, 13 years old. Um, I was so, so stupid. <laughs> like, I just like got angry at people for like no reasons whatsoever. Like, because they said that I hadn't like put effort into PE. Or like, rather, like, I, like sports. Like, why would I get angry at that? I mean, come on, it's true. And I kept like blaming my parents. It's ridiculous. And uh <laughs> And I got angry at someone f like someone like one of my classmates for talking to me and like laughing at everything I said and like to be fair that's yeah, I don't know, but but it's not that like how is that a big deal at all? Just chill, chill, Fendus. Hell yeah. So like, I was really stupid in that sense. So like, in that sense, you can say, oh sure, um, I've changed so much and like, you know, now I can't even relate to this person anymore. That means, well, okay, maybe s the same thing will happen four years from now. Uh, the problem being that uh, my apparent fear of death four years ago, that's still the exact same now. So, clearly, development doesn't happen in every area, necessarily. So, you can't rely on something like that. Uh... I suppose change only happens if you want it to. Or, or maybe sometimes it's handed to you, if you're lucky. Which it was, kind of, uh, in my case, like, <laughs> I guess, getting angry at people for no reason. I don't know, it, like, it seems so foreign to me now, like, I was, like, saying that I... I don't know, uh, what else was there?
Well, I guess it was also me being, me being like incredibly self-conscious. And like not wanting to shower with the other boys. And so I was late to the class every time. Like the class afterwards. It was like totally ridiculous. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I mean, that just changed on its own, you could say. Uh, so, like, that's what I mean by sometimes it's handed to you. Although, you could say I was like making some mental choice, perhaps, in some sense. Uh. I mean, yeah, so change, it's unpredictable. It doesn't happen at like regular intervals or like in a like a regular speed, at a regular speed, at a regular pace in every area. And I mean, I guess it only changes if you want it to, kind of. Like something won't necessarily change. I can tell you what that my... Uh, Man, I mean, like, my diary entry is from nine months ago, or so, or like, eleven months ago. <laughs> Around that time, my stances have changed, like, my outlook has changed so drastically, it's insane. Like, regarding some of the stuff I was talking about, which was like... Uh... I guess you could say dating. I was like so insane back then. Well, not really, but hmm. Well, yeah, it is very foreign. Uh, And then there's the fact that I was a MGTOW when I was 14 years old. That's kind of interesting. What drove me towards that? Why did I choose that? How did I find that? And why did I agree with it? Did I agree with it? Why? Why did I choose that outlook? There's this one night that I was like, really, like, <laughs> I was like, debating whether to have ice cream, and it was like, late, and I, I mean, like, why was I even thinking about that, like, I mean, the answer to me now is totally obvious, like, you just go to, go to bed, you just go to bed, I mean, like, at least go to bed. I mean, come on. If you skip school the next day, well, that's one thing. But, like, go to bed, dude. Don't stay up. The ice cream can wait. <laughs> uh, man, it sure sucks. Getting... I mean, like... I feel more bad for my younger self than my current self in some ways because like you have no idea how, how like horrib like how horrible it was that I was like I mean like I feel totally horrible about it still like how I was like legally required to go to school for you know like several more or a few more years multiple more years. Oh my god, why do I keep failing this match? Like, 
I and I had to sit in a lot more classes with other people than I have now than I have to nowadays. And like I had the same insecurities back then. Not really, but kind of to some extent. Like there was this one time I was late and I was like just like sitting outside the classroom because I didn't want to disturb. I mean like Yeah. And man, like our our main teacher must have been like really mean towards me. Like just like super rude. Or not rude exactly, but like well she didn't really seem to care about me whatsoever, if you know what I'm saying. I mean I don't even know if I can expect a teacher to care about how I'm doing. Like, I felt like, like, um, felt like my, um, like the PE teacher I had in the sixth grade was kind to me, I think. Which is not something I got from this main teacher we had in seventh through tenth. I just, like, make, I mean, like, what can you expect, really? Well, except every fucking one of my classmates loved her. I mean, what the fuck? I don't get it. I really don't. Fucking hell. And, I mean, I still, like, see my my old classmates through social media. Like, you know, they'd be posting stuff on this in the Snapchat group. They were doing that lately. And it's like... It's kinda like my life... feels... Um, inferior to theirs when you look at that stuff. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know if I can make that statement exactly. That sounds like a that's like a weird statement. I mean, a more a, a better example of that would be the film. <laughs> The fucking film called Call Me By Your Name. That boy just makes me feel fucking worthless. Hey, sniper. They call me the asterisk, 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 asterisk man. What could it be saying? Hmm, I guess it could be saying chink. thinking of, like, offensive words with five letters. Oh, I guess it could be nigga. Man, isn't it so annoying the noise my computer makes? Luckily, Discord doesn't. I've actually been using voice activity now instead of push to talk. Uh, luckily, Discord does not pick up this sound uh, and like blast it constantly into the other people in the voice chat. So that's great.
I mean, like, I don't know how to describe my problem. Like, I can only say... I don't know how to describe it. It's like, just like, I just feel miserable living. And I don't want to feel that way. And how am I going to change that? All these fucking people, you know. It's fucking hell. This is other Discord server I'm in. There was some couple of... So, like, there was this one guy who was, like, talking about, like, Jew conspiracy theories. Or something. Something like that. Uh, so obviously they were like, you know, they didn't like this guy, and like, they were like, and one of them just started virgin shaming him, and they called him an incel. I hate that. I blocked both of them. Uh, obviously, blocking doesn't even make me feel any better, I mean, because it's like, I I just wish it would be brought up, or kind of because I like I want attention, kind of. I guess you could say. You know, you can't just block someone. Like I mean, <laughs> not that it even matters. This is like a pretty big Discord server, and it's pretty big. Uh, and like, I don't even have any like attachment to it, like I had with one server before, you know, the whole August 2019 to March 2020 thing, uh, so I mean, I don't even care, I just, like, I don't even know if I should be posting in there, I don't know if it makes me any happier. Let's not get greedy. <laughs> I was also rewatching Angry Foreigner's video about what was it, rape and consent? And like I also talked about, I, I, I mentioned this teacher briefly in my diary, like the teacher, um, this was like in the ninth or 10th grade, it would have been the ninth, I guess, and like, I don't know, we were like kind of talking about consent one class, and like about making sure that it, like the act was consensual, and how like some people would be too feel too, like, embarrassed to ask to make sure, and, like, I mean, I thought that was ridiculous back then, I mean, I think it's even more ridiculous in hindsight, you know, like, when you watch the Angry Foreigner video, it's just fucking retarded, retarded, retarded people, Retarded people, not just retarded people, but retarded lawyers in the fucking courts of law of Sweden.
I also rewatched this video about spice. It was actually because I was reading the the Kiwi Farms thread about Dijine and someone mentioned spice. About and like this person remembered how bad it, the spice craze was. <clears throat> how people had really bad effects from it. Um, and you know that's the same story which Angry Foreigner told. I uh, rewatched that video. So I'm like totally up to date on the Kiwi Farms thread now about Dijine. Uh, to the point where I should probably stop reading it now. Uh, I've gone through all those like, you know, like a couple dozen pages. Uh, a couple dozen most recent pages that I was going through and got right up to the present time and so that's cool but man they they pump out that shit quick you know like all these posts I should stop reading it I guess because it's just negative and maybe that's not good I mean like it is kind of interesting because like I Dijine is my favorite youtuber I mean even though I don't like the stuff she's making nowadays, really. <laughs> um, it's still, like, kind of interesting to um, uh, keep track of how she's doing these days. And um, that's especially what the Kiwi Farms thread allows. Um, uh, I mean, and it's been kind of informative for me, like... It's been a good read, I would say, and even though, like, supposedly Kiwi Farms is really bad, like this, like cyberbullying I mean, maybe I've just, like, taken that for granted for no reason, maybe it's not actually bad necessarily, I mean, like, I guess partaking it in it is bad well, I don't know, though, yeah, I don't know uh, I've just kind of taken that for granted without really thinking about it much that oh kiwi farms bad but i don't know Oh right, yeah, let's not forget that shooting people actually regenerates your cloak. I mean, like, that's not really something you notice. It was saying that there in the bottom left corner. And I played the Halloween maps with um, the people on Discord, so I know what those are like now. In the third degree. It occurs to me your nerds will murder me in the third degree as soon as it's convenient in effigy you're burning me, but I'll be turning up like the burn. Oh, just uh, speaking of rap, I've been thinking about listening to Vizier and the Golden Witches, uh, the Golden Witch being Dijine's um, musician stage name. Vizier and the Golden Witches' um, new album, Higge Halloween. Been th I was thinking about maybe listening to it on Halloween, October 31st. Waiting until then, maybe. Uh, that would be like a nice way of, s of spending Halloween this year. Higa Halloween. <laughs> I've heard it has funny lyrics like... Because <laughs> I've been reading Kiwi Farms. <laughs> <laughs> George Bush got elected twice. Everybody's dumb. I paid rent. I want to buy a house with a basement to house me and my friends and my bay mint. <laughs> that is actually great.
<laughs> this is great. <laughs> and I love the album cover too. For Higa Halloween. It just looks so... I don't know. It looks great. Like how... Dijine is like... Now, now a woman in a... In a... <clears throat> in like... I don't know what you would call that. Like a skirt or something. And is sitting on a chair. And then we have... A vizier over here standing up <laughs> with a like, type of look on his face I don't really know how to describe with his hands in his hoodie pocket it's a great album cover maybe the greatest Oh wow, look at that. Someone has a Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga uh, profile picture there under me. I was <clears throat> I was looking briefly at a video today of someone doing the Lego City level in that game. Because yesterday I was um, recording another one of those Fendus's crib private videos in which I go through my all this stuff in my room and uh, look at that Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga there <clears throat> oh and I also watched Nintendo Capri Sense 2 Automo Vote vlogs he released recently um, so I got to find out what he voted for uh, kind of uh, well, he voted Obama in 2012. I don't know what he voted in 2008, he didn't say. He voted independent in 2016. I don't even know what that means. I think that means something other than the two other than Democrat and Republican, I would guess. Something uh, something else, someone else. Uh, and he regretted that vote cuz he thinks it's like throwing away your votes. And this year he's voted for Biden. <clears throat> and he said trans rights before I'd watched the video I was looking in the comments and someone said NCS said trans rights and I thought that was really funny <laughs> that whole says trans rights thing is kind of funny sometimes <laughs> NCS of all people said trans rights you know it's just cause he's you know like he said he's apolitical any place he can be Oh well, as m like mostly apolitical, like, or he said like whenever he can avoid it, although that's not literally true, but figuratively, because obviously he can avoid being political on his YouTube channel, but now I'm just being pedantic. The only place he can't not be political is like when he's voting, for instance. That would be like the only time, really. Or if he's part of some demonstration somewhere, that would be inherently political. Although, I mean, he could just opt out, I suppose. Well, that's like saying he could opt out of voting. So, you know, just like, I don't even know what I'm, where I'm going with this. I mean, now it seems like there's an exception to, ev to this rule altogether. So I don't even know. Uh... So anyway, I, I don't even know what to say, like, I'm unhappy with my life, but like that Quora answer said, you know, I need to, I guess, drop the victim mentality and try to actually improve it. You could say that about the whole incel community and the black pill too, though. 
uh, apologies for bringing this up again. I mean, apologies to myself, that is. Uh, but like I, I mean, I was debating one of those people on you in the YouTube comments lately, and of course I debate this issue myself in my head every day. You could say, <laughs> not exactly, but kind of. And um, I mean, I do think that the black pill is. Um, blaming others instead of taking responsibility. It's an excuse to avoid taking responsibility. And that can go for a lot of things. I mean, if you look at something where it's about like relinquishing responsibility, you can be pretty sure that it's like just bullshit. What would be another example, though? <laughs> well, I guess it's just kind of coming up with excuses as to not do something. like not socializing because oh it's 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 it the the game is rigged or something like that or hmm <laughs> or me not or me refusing to well, I think I'm right, though, so there's... I can't really use that as an example. Like me refusing to take language classes because it's like, well, why would I do this when I can just listen to media and learn the language naturally through getting, like, comprehensible input. Zwagaloo. It's kind of like Zwilus, the Pokemon. Reminded me, the name reminded me of that. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Ambassador. Let's get it. Let's shoot, some, let's headshot some people. Oh, that sniper's AFK, it seems. I don't have the Ambassador. I have two your eternal rewards. Oh, and what did I find out on one of these? I was like gifted something from someone. I don't remember where. Yeah, it was here. Look, I received a gift. I received this shield as a gift, so that's cool. From some Russian, I don't know. Oh, speaking of which, I saw this video on YouTube today interviewing like a bunch of Russian people about how if they thought they were beautiful. And there was this short hair woman in the video who, um, I, I mean, I'm just never mind. Um, who's like saying, just never mind. I mean, do I even want to get into this? Uh, I mean, I just, like, I, I kind of just want to, 
I mean, it's kind of like dumb to bring up in this video, I suppose. You can just go on my Tumblr blog and there I've linked the video. Uh, I liked her answers to the questions, is what I'm saying. They made me really happy. I also played Man vs. Machine for the first time ever this night uh, with the people on the Discord. Um, yeah, so I was just like playing Spy and I was shooting like really quickly with the Latranger. Hmm. So I don't know how I'm gonna do with sleep now. Now it's Jesus Christ, I've been recording for an hour. It's 6.23 now. And, um... Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do with sleep. I, like, I guess I should... Like, shift my sleep so that I sleep during the night instead of during the day. I mean, like, I fell asleep in darkness and woke up in darkness, you know? Uh, maybe it'd be nice to have some light... Oh shit, how do I, how am I getting these really, like, tricky backstabs? Wow. Oh, and I've also been, um, tonight before I played Team Fortress 2, I, I was re-watching parts of Forrest Gump. It's like a, quite a good film. I mean, I can relate to that film in ways which I don't think I'm allowed to get into. So I guess I can only really tell my friend Morty about it. For confidentiality. Not that it's all that interesting or... I mean, it's interesting to me, of course, but that's just because I'm really uh, really, really hung up on the woman I had a crush on when I was 16 years old. I love how I can talk about that now as if when I was 16 years old, because now I'm 17. That's funny. It's good, it gives some more distance to it. <laughs> I 
and like again like about these existential things i mean it just like makes me wonder if it's even worth making these videos because like who's gonna watch them am i gonna watch them is someone else gonna watch them like what is even the point And that sure is taking a while to take out the fucking sentry gun. I should help it with my gun. Well, it's done. It's dead now. Hmm. <coughs> I was also listening to the... Two, two pieces of music, well, three technically, from the Cars, from the soundtrack of the Cars film, you know, the film Cars, which I watched in my childhood, you know, uh, Real Gone and Life is a Highway. Very good songs, which makes me think. Um, Cars has the third best soundtrack of any film, uh, beaten by The Godfather and The Godfather Part 2, I suppose. But is that even true? Do I even like The, the Godfather soundtrack that much? I don't even know. I listen to it a lot, but like it's... I don't know, it's kind of simple and and just kind of subdued. I mean, like, subdued music is cool, kind of. It can be really cool, but I mean, uh, like, those two more, like, kind of energetic songs from Cars kind of hit a bit stronger, you could say. Uh, I don't know. The the Godfather soundtracks are also. I mean, if I'm gonna talk about the soundtracks in general right now, I like they're very repetitive. Um, extremely, extremely repetitive. Like, rep repetition is good in music. Repetition is good. Without repetition, th th it doesn't stick as much. However. It's like, you know, like, there's like a balance. And it's like The Godfather went a bit too... Had a bit more repetition than the balance. Like, it went a bit too far with all the repetition in the soundtrack. Like, they really just couldn't, like, mix it up a little bit. They really just had to, like, re repeat the exact same notes in, like, roughly the same rhythm. The, the Godfather Part 2 soundtrack, I tend to just, like, accidentally listen to the whole thing. Like, I don't know, I'm just caught up in something else, and song after song after song just plays until I've listened to them all. It's kind of interesting how it's been like that on, like, multiple days. Where I've just, like, accidentally, or, like, listened to the whole thing, pretty much. Kind of. It's just like kind of there in the background that I'm not paying much attention to it. And then sometimes I p do pay more attention. <laughs> uh. 
Yes, I'm unhappy, but I suppose I shouldn't repeat so much because I guess that's kind of like part of the victim mentality. I guess that kind of was my point a while back, that like, at least I had my YouTube videos to complain about my life in. And it's like, that's funny and all, <laughs> that I'm here, like, and I'm just complaining all the, th the time, and like, that's funny from an outsider point of view, but in reality, like, I don't have the time or rather, it's like, it's not f really funny at all, because all that complaining I'm doing, well, it ain't solving it. It's just kind of putting on a f funny show. Kind of. It's kind of a little bit funny, maybe. Uh, like, funny and, like, like s sad in a funny way. How I'm here. Just like really un unsatisfied with life and <coughs> but you can't just like <laughs> but that's all it is it's or rather no, how do I say this I'm not actually solving my problems. I mean, I don't even know how to put this in a good way. I mean, maybe I've overstated this a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I just give up. I give up trying to explain this, or just like try to think about this at all. I'm tired. I'm actually tired. Uh, I don't know what to do. I could sleep a small amount and then go to sleep early in the evening. I suppose. Like, time is going so fucking quickly too, like soon I'll be back in school, it's like you know, it's past midnight now, it's 6.35 o'clock on a Friday. It's fucking Friday already. I only have Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and then it's back to school. Well, not that it really matters. I mean, so what if it's back to school? It doesn't change the fact that I'm unhappy either way. It's not like I'm enjoying my life more when I'm out of school. I mean, not by much, like not to the, not like at the core of the issue. It doesn't change anything doesn't change the fact that I'm unenlightened and I'm 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 miserable I mean it feels like it anyway I I don't want to misspeak and say something which isn't true I don't know
<sighs> I can't fucking solve it. I'm unhappy, and the scariest thought is that one, I'll die before I've become enlightened, or two, it is impossible to become enlightened. I mean, like, I guess the first option isn't necessarily bad. I mean, it's really just like, it's just like something that happens and it it's not even... I mean, I've already accepted logically that that's not a bad thing. That it just feels like a bad thing. Because of how I'm experiencing things. Right now. And, like, the whole point of this is to... Change my experience so that I'm happy. change the experience for the remaining e experience or by experience I mean consciousness that I have left that's the point the point is to feel differently about things in my remaining consciousness Very smart, am I? Ha ha ha. My previous Team Fortress 2 video got two likes. I wonder if anyone watched it. And man, how I wish they'd rather watch this one. Because it's way more interesting. Although, like, thrice as long. Hey, Pyro. Ambassador. Let's get some headshots. This ain't gonna work. I need to get up closer. Is he talking to me because I was shooting instead of stabbing? I worry also that I will never uh, be able to love a woman like I did another one ever again.
like another one. I see that Chinese sign over there. Have some Chinese lessons with fenders. So the, or rather Japanese, you could say. Um, it um, the um, the kanji for mizu. I guess it's pronounced, which means water. Uh, it looks something I don't know. Uh, but the radical for it looks like this. Du, du, du. And that's what we saw earlier there. Ah, it's there again. Du, du, du. <coughs> At first I thought that that low stroke there it was um, written from up to down, but it's actually written from down to up. So it takes place in, for instance, one of the first kanji I ever learnt, ryu, which means flowing. It's part of, you know, the you know the Asuka, you know Asuka from Evangelion. She has that kanji in her name, so ryu, Asuka, Rangure. Um, that kanji appears in the word for bloodshed, which is ryu ketsu, ryu and Ketsu, Ketsu, which is written like this, du, 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 du. you know, flowing blood. Japanese less with fenders. Ridiculous. I'm not proficient whatsoever. Guess I know more than the average person, but that's about it. Okay, I think this video is getting too long. This is gonna be a pain to render and upload. These 1080p videos, I tell ya. Man, oh man. Anyway, so uh, the people I was like, you know, talking to in the on Discord, like, I, I guess I shouldn't generalize, but the uh, server owner and um, like seemingly like everyone else in that fucking server is like, you know, a Trump supporter. Uh, I'm kind of intolerant in the sense that I have a difficult time socializing with people I disagree tremendously with. Although in this case it's not really, they don't even, like, I don't even seem to disagree with them that much. I mean, like, not on, like, Like, they're not mean to me, so... 
or anything, so it's really a lot easier. <laughs> Although, define being mean to me, I mean, I don't really know who's mean to me and who isn't, what counts and what doesn't. But anyway, I mean, like, so I, I mean, I do seem to disagree with them on some things, but I mean, I do have an open mind, though. I really do. I, I think they might be correct. Why am I even saying this? I'm not ar articulating this well enough at all. It just comes across as dumb. I mean, what am I doing? I, this is not good. I can't speak. I can't speak. I can't speak. I am incoherent. see right there dit, dit, dit. here's the tree radical dit, 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 dit. which is pronounced key I think whatever I actually, okay, I also was, oh yeah, I was also, um, so like last night I was reminiscing on a lot of stuff, so I was also looking at old, like an old video we recorded in, we recorded in school. And, um, so in that process, I was also going through a bunch of other videos, old videos on my computer, and I watched kind of like an episode of the dinosaur train in Swedish. Well, not the whole episode, but like a third or a fourth or so. And, um, more like a fifth or so, or sixth. And I just randomly, like, I uh, downloaded some random episode. And then there was also, I found that I, there was like this Einstein video that I downloaded for some reason. I think it was an Einstein video. It wasn't terribly interesting anyway. I wish I had some more Shine PhD videos. Man, I missed that, those fucking videos. I really do. I have lost so much respect for Shine because he deleted those videos. I just wish I could keep them. Doesn't he understand how much those meant to me? <laughs> and it didn't mean that much. I'm just kind of exaggerating, but... And maybe I'm being, like, entitled by demanding he keep them up, even though he's got... It, he's got his own plans. He's, like, working in the real world now. Instead of on YouTube. But like, couldn't he have been kind of kind to his audience and kept them up? Could that not have been a courtesy? He could have offered us. Well, I kind of like those videos. Anyway, I feel like Shine PhD was very much a filthy Frank tryhard. I don't know if anyone else made that observation. He was like trying so hard to be another filthy Frank. I mean, they had so much in common. Even the fact that, you know, they're both half -oos. They're both half -oos. So obviously, 
Shine PhD was trying to be like Frank, filthy Frank. But you could really tell he was trying so hard to be like Filthy Frank. He had this like very per peculiar, not peculiar, but like particular comedy style that I really enjoyed. Which was like, I don't really know how to describe it. Have I talked about this before? <laughs> That's like a common phrase for me in these videos. <clears throat> Where it's like... I kind of noticed this when I watched like some clip from the TV show the, the the Office. So I wonder if that's maybe where it came from, or if it, or if maybe, um, or maybe this is like a broader stylistic choice, where they do these zoom ins on characters. They do like a bunch of zoom ins, and. Also, sometimes when they do the zoom-ins, they pause the music. Or they just like pause the music sometimes when something funny happens. It's it's really effective. I, I like that style. And it's something he, he employed a lot. I remember in that video, that Christmas video he made. Uh, there was like, he was like dressed up as... I don't even know what he was dressed up in. He was still using like the birthday cake suit, or like the cake suit. The cake costume. Or the cake suit. Whatever you would call it, I don't know. The cake costume, and... And like, he was out on the street, like, and he had like a bottle of something in his hand. And like, I think he like maybe accidentally dropped it. And then the music paused in that moment. Like it's, an, it's an effective style, a uh, stylistic choice for the videos. I liked it. <laughs> There's also that moment in that one video about the prostitutes where he like looked down like the skirts of like the the prostitute he was interviewing, and it was like for like. This is for the... What did he say? This is like for... This is for the interview or something like that. I liked those videos. I mean... They weren't that good. I mean, like... He probably wouldn't even make it into my top... No, he wouldn't make it into my top 10 favorite YouTubers, but... So not even that, but... So, like, I'm not... Okay, I'm just trying to express that I... I, I, I... That it's not, like... It was that good or anything. But I did like those videos, and... I'm sad to... Not have access to them anymore. Some of them have been re-uploaded, unfortunately. Not the ones I was most... I, I liked the most. Oh yeah, there's also this old video that my previous classmates made that I downloaded to my computer where they were trying uh, Coca-Cola cherry and Coca-Cola vanilla and they thought it was s disgusting and then at one point in the video, one of them drinks both at the same time and he was like, no wait, this is actually good uh, I was at the grocery store today, I told you, and I was like looking at all the sodas because I was like, okay, maybe I can 
So now I get to look at what sodas are here. Um, and I saw that there was actually a Coca-Cola, cherry, and vanilla. So that idea is a thing. <laughs> and it's, yeah, I just I thought of it just now, actually. The pieces just clicked together in my mind. But yeah, that combination is actually a thing. I mean, I already knew that pretty much. Uh, Dijanae talked about in her video about Mountain Dew that her mother would drink, what was it? Coca-Cola, cherry, vanilla, zero. Or something like that. Or diet, Coca-Cola, cherry, vanilla. Like this hyper-specific concoction that was difficult to acquire. I think that's what it was. Okay, I guess I better stop now. Goodbye.